Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn how to remove high floats in Primavera physics. What is total float? Total float of an activity is the time that it can be delayed in finishing without impacting the end date of your project. You know, there is a check of high quality in the project schedule to decide the quality of scheduling. Ideally, your schedule should have less than 5% of activities with high float. This can be achieved by following some of the best practices that I will be discussing now. Firstly, have proper logics in your schedule and leave no open-ended activities. That means you need to connect all activities with one or more corresponding activities. In this sample project, let me run the filter to check no successor and no predecessor and you will see that there are no activities shown. You can create your user defined filters like this and you will see that there are no activities shown. That means this schedule is good. Now second best practice is reduce high lags. If required to add high lags, add more activities to describe in detail. Okay. The next one is eliminate negative float which arrive because of the constraints that you put in your schedule. So avoid constraints in your schedule. And the fourth one is fast track your schedule so that most of your activities will run in parallel and thereby you can reduce the high floats but make sure that you are not creating conflicts between activities. Even though after following all these best practices you may find some activities with high floats and you are required to reduce the high floats then you can follow this process that I am explaining now. So now in the same example you can see some of the activities with high float of 40 to 50 plus duration days duration and I got demand from clients saying that we need to reduce the high float activities so that we can improve the quality of schedule. Then the quick solution which needs to be carefully executed is to add more logics which would make some sense rather than creating conflicts. Here I have got some more logics discussed along with the team and upon agreement I am adding more relationships like this. For example this activity which has got 43 days of total float. I am linking the new successor the next activity and giving finish finish relationship and click on this schedule button or F9 as a shortcut to schedule the project. You will notice that the total float which is high has been reduced to 28 which is ok as of now. Okay, So you can repeat the same process for all those activities which are having high floats to reduce their total float. But remember friends, don't create wrong logics and make bad quality schedule. So follow best practices to so as to improve your quality of your schedule. So friends, this is all about how to remove high floats in your project schedule in Primavera P6. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.